Well, I had to free up some memory on my uh, camera device here. My iPhone 4S. Anyway. Some of the paint is seems to be burnt off now, so fumes aren't that bad, but you can see the paint uh, the paint on the bottom is still there, some of it. I just made this today. It only took about 10-15 minutes to make it. It's a 14 inch small oil drum, oil barrel, grease barrel, whatever they call it. I drilled some holes in it. <clears throat> you can see I drilled some holes there. I drilled some holes around the bottom, around those around there that around those rings for secondary air put a grill on top and right now I'm just baking the uh, man she's really rocketing actually it's rocketing pretty good and uh, the paints coming off so there's some fumes there's not really much not really much smoke to speak of a little bit when it slows down and the wind blows a bit I guess but this is not a rocket. This is just uh, basically a barrel stove, a vertical barrel stove. And uh, I just threw this together real quick. That square piece that's, is actually the lid off of one of my rockets, one, uh, a lid that I never used off of my original prototype rocket. But I'm just, uh, it's the same, it's a 14 inch diameter, so it's the same, uh, it fits this drum perfectly. And I'm using it as a base instead of a lid. And no lid, no feed, no, no rocket stuff. Be um, I built this barrel stove to cook. I was getting a lot of ashes because, uh, I was cooking maple syrup on the rocket and uh, I took the lid off to cook it to get the more heat directly from the riser and uh, there's a lot of ashes coming up the riser because it's a sm small rockety tube so uh, I switched from pellets to burning wood and there's a lot of ashes coming and I had this open pot of syrup on top or uh, maple sap and I was getting too many uh, ashes so Built this real quick today. Didn't take long to build it. I'm still getting some ashes though. Hopefully not as many. And uh, hopefully I'll get the burn is going to be right under the. It's going to be a lot closer to the fire rather than my rocket stove because it's got a, a 31 inch riser away from the burn chamber. So this is going to be a little more hotter. Hopefully a little bit hotter. So I just slapped this puppy together real quick. It's just sitting on there. It's not fastened or welded to that base plate. It's just sitting on there. And the drum had a big, or this uh, oil drum had a big dent right there. Huge dent. So I just cut, decided to cut the feed hole there. So that's where I feed it from. Instead of taking the grill off. And, and plus this way you got the oxygen coming in the bottom of the big hole there. There's always oxygen coming in the bottom, which makes the fire burn a little bit hotter and cleaner. Kind of like a rocket, but it's not a real rocket by definition. It's just a barrel stove. Oh, look at the flames go. Quite a bit of heat. A little bit of a vortex going on there, actually. Yeah, there's a little bit of a vortex going on there. <laughs> that's cool well uh, I'm gonna try c reducing my sap on this it's my first year sap in maples so this is gonna be a fun experiment I've already cooked some on my rocket but it took uh, took quite a few hours so anyway um that's that. Looks like most of the paint's cooked off it now. It's not fuming that bad. I think most of the fumes are done. Next time I fire this thing up, I'll probably be making maple syrup. Hey, buddy.
What are you doing? Playing with junk? See you next time.